Hey everyone, my name is Nathan Payne. Welcome to another episode of Blue Ocean Crypto. Real excited to bring this to you all. We're gonna talk about my first impressions with Mavia. We're gonna take a look at the UI, dive into the game, check out some gameplay, see what a battle's like, talk about some of the other things. This is gonna be a real treat for you all. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So let's open up the Mavia app. Take a look at the loading screen, always an important part, right? Scrice, then we've got the Heroes of Mavia background. I love that artwork. It's a nice loading symbol as well. Guys, you're in for a treat. This game is so addictive. It has been all I've been doing since I've got access. And for how polished this is, that's really one of the things that's setting this apart for me. You know, as a Web3 Game Guild, we beta test a lot of different games. We research tons of projects. You know, we've played a lot of betas. This is something that I can sink my teeth into and play consistently right now, and it's just in the early stages. I mean, look at the level of detail, right? Here's the base, massive base. I can also zoom away. I can go explore kind of off of my map. I mean, look look at this. It just keeps going. There's all kinds of cool little hidden areas and stuff. Like this looks like a hidden wind village. There's like some, let's take a look over this area. There's like this scientist area with a dome. I mean, what is that? That looks amazing. Looks like its own kind of castle defense there. Oh, look at the little Mavia flag. Oh, that's funny. That's like a little Easter egg. There's some giant ruby. Also, what's these train cart tracks? I wonder what's going on with that, huh? Down here, you can see there's a giant statue. We're on the beach now. Or it looks like not a beach, actually, more just like a kind of a dune sandy area there. Okay, so let's get back to the base and I'll show you guys some of the UI. But I mean, look at the detail. Plus, this is scaled down, guys. This isn't even the full graphics potential of the game. It's scaled down like one third, one fifth right now. I'd be happy with just this as is, to be completely honest. I mean, let's take a look at the troops. We just go in here. I mean, look at how smooth that movement is, right? It's beautiful. Okay, so let's take a look at the fun, some of the fun stuff. So first we open our profile. You can change your name once. On the right-hand side, it's showing our trophies. Attacks one, defense is one. I can upload my own custom avatar. I can also use one of the default avatars. I personally use one of the custom ones. I like that touch. But this is probably one of my favorite screens. So I get a snapshot of my entire base here, right? We can see my HQ level is four. It shows a, tr a slot for heroes and pets. That was really cool for me to see that pets are actually listed there. So I guess we know what's happening. Uh, up on the top right, we've got gold, oil, sapphire, ruby. Also there's sapphire, which I'm sure a lot of you have seen this for the first time. You're wondering, what is that? And I'm just as curious about it as you are, right? We knew about ruby, we knew about Mavi token. What's the sapphire exactly? And there's kind of some hints that maybe it's like the in-game currency to purchase resources, but really curious to see how that plays out. It's really cool. It shows if there's a shield, shows if our engineers are busy or not, also shows our troops. But then I can also just either scroll down or select one of the tabs at the top. It'll bring me to the troops area. So for example, we can bring up the details on the warrior. It shows us damage per second, hit points, recruit cost, favorite target, damage type, target, unit size, speed. There's even a little write-up. This is where all the good details are, so you can start doing your theory crafting and figuring out how every unit actually works. It's the same thing down with the buildings. You know, take a look at any of these. Let's just bring up a motor, right? It shows damage type, range, ground, hybrid damage type, right? So there's definitely some nuances and really interesting things about what kind of damage, what things are targeting that you really want to make sure you understand. Then we've, of course, got Mira, our favorite hero, right? Talks about favorite target none, so she targets everything as well. She does single damage, but she can target ground and air, and she has a three speed, which is really freaking fast. Um, I just love how clean this is. Another impressive thing I liked is in the settings. First, we can see all the different languages that are supported so far. Kudos to the team for doing this. This is really awesome to see. I'm sure a lot of you are excited to know, you know, some of these languages are covered. Also, let's just take a look at gameplay you can change shake screen zoom animation idle troop idle building phone vibrations uh and then of course sound effects audio graphics quality though i mean let me just show you this we'll switch to low i mean this is low graphics like what this is incredible 
right? And of course, I'm going to put it on high because I always just like being on high. Not a huge difference, but of course, the little finer details, I'm sure some of the textures would be. I like when you move the, the bases, like uh, the structure around. You can see it kind of left the hole. I can see the white, so there's no holes in my base when I'm building my base. I've really been enjoying the base building aspect. This is kind of a moat design where the idea is to send the troops they have to kind of travel around the base before they can get into the center. Once I unlock Mira, I already have the hero pedestal. I'm just upgrading the laboratory right now. You can see her radius. She's going to be able to defend my base. Looking forward to a lot more intricate and complex base designs, but you know we're just getting started here. So let's jump into the thing that I know you all want to see, a match. So I've got 60 warriors trained, which is the cheapest unit. This is the best way to farm resources right now. Look at this, we found a base, the Big Man 01. Now, I'm really just going after resources. I don't care about winning. But because he doesn't have a motor, which is really, you know, anti-troops, I'm pretty sure I can smash this base. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a funnel by just destroying some of these traps on the side, and then we'll do the rest here. <clears throat> now, the idea is to move the troops down and in, and this way they're going to go after the wall. <clears throat> Some of them helped clear on the right hand side, which is good, but now we can see they're going in for a wall. I'm going to be doing videos on funneling, how to properly deploy your troops, all that good stuff so you guys can get proficient and get ahead of, ahead of the curve when it comes to the beta. So right now, and you might have noticed this, when they were all kind of attacking at different speeds, you could hear the different clinks, but now that they've grouped up, they're all in unison. And I like how with the sound effects, you can tell that it's multiple of them hitting. It's not just sounding like one hammer. Oh yeah, we've crushed this base. Just got a couple more defenses left. There we go. One more rally point, and that'll put us at the 100%. Now, it costs five oil per warrior. So you want to factor that in. Like, well, if it was five oil per warrior and I made 60, it kind of just broke even. But I did make some gold profit. So get back here, I'm obviously gonna train up more troops, get ready for the next attack. Leave a comment down below, let me know what you guys think. I mean, I've been in the Web3 space a long time with a game guild, this, this is blowing me away. I think irregardless of the Web3 component, this game is gonna take the industry by storm. This just looks great. This is what we've been waiting for in Web3, a game that can deliver AAA quality, that's amazingly fun, I mean, there's so many little nuances I'm still figuring out that is absolutely blowing me away. I can't wait till you guys get a chance to play. You know, if you if you don't have a land, you can watch one of our videos on how to buy on any of the marketplaces. You head to their Discord, do the land verify, join their wait list, get on this. This is something you guys do not want to miss out in this industry right now. This is absolutely insane. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm going to be covering tons of Mavia content. That's the primary focus of our channel and our game guild. We'll be, like I said, we'll be doing base building strategies, attack strategies, best way to progress through the beta, best way to progress through different headquarters, some of the little nuances and tricks. You know, we're going to be covering it all. And we're going to be covering a lot of the Alliance stuff because obviously that's a big focus with it. Okay, everyone. Till next time. Looking forward to seeing you there. Take care.